ripples about like just and everything. Black Widow looks. Oh yeah, like she looks a lot better. Dead over it, like that. Oh, this game I looks shitty. Like yeah, I but it's up. a beta. I don't exactly think it's actually, like, like. It's not full gameplay. Right. It looked a little bit clunky, but I mean, again, it's beta. Yeah. The only thing that would it make a difference is like on footage. an overclocked PC. Yeah, talking to that mic. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, check, check one two. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the F Word Podcast, otherwise known as the F Show, because we're not going live. So that's going to be the new name when we're not going live. It might even just be the new name going forward. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I, I like the F Show. Welcome to the F Show. It's easier to say. And it's easier to do. Wait, that's not how that not works. Not to be mistaken with the F Shack from Dirt with Dirty Mike and the Boys. You know? F Shack, baby. Who's F-shack. Dirty Mike and the Boys? I've heard of that. Other guys. Yeah. Remember? Is... Thanks Dirt... for the F Shack. Dirty Mike and Dirty the Boys. Dirty Mike and the Boys. The Yaris. From Remember? the other guys. Yeah. yeah. I've been those... moving so long, but like, I, 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 as soon as you said so that, I recognized. Like, yeah, yeah I heard that. Dirty Mike and the boys. Thanks for the F shack. <laughs> if we ever go to like a convention or a con, we set up a shack and call it the F shack. We should. Ooh. That's really good. Nice. I like that. Hopefully, we don't get sued. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, yeah, it's the F word podcast, an affiliate of the Saskatchewan Podcast Network. I think they added like five new podcasts. Uh, last week, we didn't go live, obviously, but I hope you enjoyed my deep dive I did on Hollywood Trends with Brandon Flagel, a.k.a. Brandon Hall, as he's known in the radio verse. Uh, it was a really awesome talk. He's a really funny dude and super, super knowledgeable, more knowledgeable than me. Uh, and then recently, I did a episode with a guy named Sean Broom, who has a podcast called The Story of You Podcast, so it's very much like a story about me and he does stories about his guests that come on. Super funny dude. And we are going to be collaborating on a deep dive episode on Frank D'Angelo. Frank D'Angelo is the Canadian Tommy Wiseau. Oh, I hmm. just heard about this guy from I've, Sean. I've never heard of him. It's unbelievable. The second he said it, I'm like, this guy sounds like Tommy Wiseau. And he's like, that's exactly who he is. But like, he's got a band. A lot of people know him. Like, he's mm-hmm. actually like pseudo famous, but. He's just this weird enigma that has no talent whatsoever and somehow is a big deal. Interesting. So we're going to be doing a deep dive in that. But both of those aren't coming out till next month, September. correct? September. Yeah. yeah. Like the story of you won't be coming out until after the September long weekend. And then we're actually going to be recording the deep dive for this episode on his new equipment in his new condo. So then he can Ooh. Skype in one of his buddies because he has a separate podcast specifically on Frank D'Angelo. Oh wow! So they're super knowledgeable on this, and I'm super excited because like he's he's a really funny, energetic dude. And turns out his fiance I went to elementary school with. Oh, it was so wild. Mm. So yeah, that was awesome. Uh, Erica was her name. And uh, anyways, the Saskatchewan Podcast Network would not be possible without the support of Connexus Credit Union. Do you like movies? Well, so do we. Do you like TV? Well, so do we. Well, guess what? There are more movies coming out and more streaming services that require your money. But you can't buy any of that if you're deep in debt. If you want to get out of debt, and if you have stressful money issues, well, you got to remember, money doesn't have to be stressful. And Connexus is here to help. The Connexus hashtag money talk blog provides expert advice, tips, and solutions for all life stages and events so you can go out and enjoy yours. Check it out today at ConnexusMoneyTalk.ca and start feeling confident and stress-free about your money. I just thought of that on the spot, except for the bold part. Very good. That was my that was my first draft of some movie-related ads. What's up, guys? Not a whole lot. I have a new name. What's your name? Oh. I thought it was two weeks ago, and I totally forgot until just now. You right. didn't tell me? Big memes. Big memes. Oh, yeah, you do. Be, I do memes yeah, now. you do the memes. And they are big, I guess. Do you, though? How's that channel coming along? Actually, so now it's finally, uh, I've gained back all the followers I lost. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So it's you not going gained up. gained like 70,000 followers? Oh, no, no. Sorry. So when I took over the account, I was saying it was going down. And oh, followers. and then you've gained yeah, them back. Gained okay, them good. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. And they're yeah, responding no. well to your memes? Yeah, no. People are enjoying them. So they, they always like, people always text me saying, hey, man, are you okay? Because <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> and honestly, like I am, it's just like. They love those sad yeah, yeah. people memes, so it's kind of like you funny. Wait, your face looks really thin. It's the beard. I trimmed it down quite hey, a bit. I did too yesterday, and yeah. I did like the, I did the shave all the way I around saw that. to accent the beard, so it looks like I'm bald when By I have a hat on. the peaky blinders. Pretty damn close. I don't yeah, know why. Like I saw British. this. 
haircuts. Pardon? That's like a British show haircut. I guess so. I'll, I saw a guy on a cooking show on Netflix called, the show's called Final Table. Yeah. This isn't quite like that because I actually wanted the length on top. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. But he had it and I'm like, that looks really good because he had a stellar beard. Well, now that my beard is inching closer towards stellar, yeah. as in it's each inching closer towards presentable, mm-hmm. then I thought, well, why don't I access it? And by access, I mean accentuate it. I wish I had a beard. You, yeah, I don't know if you can, man. Yeah. Your uncle can't grow a beard. I shaved this. Uh, wait, was this? Yeah, this was like right before we left to Saskatoon. That was a week ago. Oh, wait, no. Week ago. That might have been, might have been on Sunday. That would have been a week ago today. No, yeah. I shaved this got an interview Sunday. Sunday. So this mm. coming back, that's like what? A couple of days. Should end up that. getting that job. You know what? You I just know, yeah. you just go Where'd for those apply? deep mutton chops. It was. Uh, no, I have. For some reason, the neck beard and the sideburns grow heavy. But yeah. Maybe you can that. start a trend. It's just called the neck side. Oh my god! <laughs> white trash. But I applied to the movie theater landmark. Nice, the new one. Yeah. Oh. And they haven't called me back, but they're also from Edmonton, so it's kind of like whatever. Like I just Could did take it. a while. I'll like text them like an after a week. The building is not even. Up yeah. Yet. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Uh, I was sent. Uh, I was sent that posting for the manager mm-hmm. position there, but I was just like, no, yeah, no. like it's the the hours don't coincide See, that's with thing. my I'm life. Not really like, it's like a backup job for me. Where we'd actually like, have to switch the way the show gets recorded. Which won't be a big deal because you'll be like stuck at the theater, yeah, but you'll get to see everything. Also, so then what we'll tickets. have to do? You record at the theater. Well, that's what that's what Nick had said. He's like, you should record at the theater, which we totally could if I had this set up. Mm-hmm. But I think it'd be really cool because then, since I don't get to see as many movies as I'd like, I know he does, but you're gonna be able for sure. Then we can always have an Anthony review segment on there. Damn. Okay. Well, first I gotta get the job. <laughs> Let's root for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hashtag landmark theater in Regina to can say hire Anthony. Mm-hmm. Hire big memes. Anthony, and then they're gonna be like, Anthony <laughs> can't do memes. his job if he doesn't have a job. Oh. To do. To do. Um, there's a lot of shit. I don't know how much of it is actually relevant or any like or relevant anymore. So I feel like Sony is obviously the last thing we talk about. Okay, yeah. So the Sony Disney time. thing that yeah, is like yeah. that's going to be our topic for sure. Um, also, you had mentioned the Avengers gameplay that came yeah. out. Well, I played it in the Call out. of Duty beta, like just before I came. Call out. Of, oh, you did play it? the yeah. new Modern Warfare. Oh yeah. Okay. So it is Activision doing it. I totally thought it was Treyarch's. Well, no. Oh no, this is Infinity Ward, but Activision owns all of Call of Duty. Do they know? Yeah. Activision does. Activision owns all of Call of Duty, but like Treyarch does Black Ops, and Infinity yeah. War does like Modern Warfare. Mm-hmm. Well, the way I understand it, they were supposed to do it's like one in one. They were supposed to like Treyarch would do the release, and then these guys would do the Activision would actually do their release as well. I'm pretty sure, like from my, <coughs> I'm pretty sure Activision owns all of Call of Duty, okay. but they have uh, yeah. like just like different developers who did games. So they can do yeah, 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 yeah. And you get to, there's actually a distinctive difference between oh, yeah. the Activision side and the Treyarch side. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the Black Ops actually were really strong for the longest time. I didn't um, like Black Ops. You didn't like them? No. I, see, I like two. Three fell off for me because that's when they started to think the exosuit shit. Mm-hmm. So, I think that's when it got a little rowdy for my liking. I'm like, I just can't. I'm like, yeah, we were no. playing against my my buddy's little brother. He's like oh. probably 13 and he's kicking our ass because it's exo crap mm-hmm. and you can like boost off. I'm like, what is this, man? I'm yeah, like, no. whatever. I'm just like regular hand grenades and like M16s and stuff. I'm good with that. Black Ops 3 was the best for exo movement yeah. just because it was like the most tamed but like advanced warfare. And oh, that got out of hand like from what I understand. Straight up just fucking Iron Man shit yeah, like yeah, you yeah. can hover in the air and it's just like too the, much. The most, the most recent one that came out, oh, I don't know. Black Ops 4. Is that 4? Yeah. How did that one, is that kind of middle ground? Oh, it's like back dead. to 3? It's like back to the it's like you don't you can't jump around and shit oh yeah but it's just kind of like you have the tech you have some tech it's just really yeah. it's just i don't like it like i returned it they had a yeah. lot of like false promises just it wasn't fun like false profits yeah yeah they make like on their fucking exo or their loot boxes yeah like there's so many like just like broken guns that you can just buy to get and it okay. just destroys everything so would you say need for speed drop loot boxes how does that work? So that's good. That's okay. Good. So the most recent Need for Speed. Oh, what the heck was it called? Son of a bitch! I bought it too. Need for Speed Ride Again. No. Damn it. Anyways, Ride the along. the most recent one that's out right speed now. Speed up. Uh, Need for basically speed. introduced not so much loot boxes, but basically it was a lottery thing of like you that's don't know what, what part you were gonna get. Yeah. Um, you could pay with the like the in credit, obviously. I'm, I'm sure you could punch in money if you really wanted to, but it was just a Russian roulette of what parts you would get for which class of vehicle you had. Like some work for some, some work for other. Now That's they've gambling. dropped that, and they've basically gone back to the OG style of like you just have to progress in the game and get better and win to get the parts. So the new one called Heat, mm-hmm. uh, basically kind of goes back to it. Actually reminds me a little bit of. 
more so like carbon and most wanted style. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they're definitely amping that up. The whole yeah, dropping the loot box is gonna be huge for everybody. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on it right away. I was a little hesitant to buy the most recent one, but I bought it on a sale, mm-hmm. so I think it was like fifteen bucks, twenty okay, bucks, yeah, no. and I, and I think I bought like the deluxe was on for fifteen dollars. Like, mm-hmm. hey, perfect. I don't care. Play it. I'll play it as long as I need to. But yeah, I still like my racing games. So is like Need for Speed a single player only game or? Uh well, it's it's open world now. Like you basically oh, they've I've heard of the this. Underground the, Two is open world to an extent too. To, yeah, it didn't have the online as much though at the time. No, now sure. it's all online. Mm-hmm. You're doing your own thing on the map, and then you'll run into online players for sure. But uh, it's mainly first player, but you have also the online presence as well. So it's going to be a piece of shit recorder. Awkward. Yes. Yeah, it is awkward. Yeah. It, it so sucks yeah, now I have to keep an eye on it the whole See, time. See, as long as like companies do it that way, where it's kind of like. Like Call of Duty does it so fucking ass backwards. Just and it's I respect it because from a business perspective, mm-hmm. I know Black Ops Three made like all of its revenue off the loot like loot boxes. Like, okay. made, all like, of them do. That's why they do the loot boxes. It made they like make a money stupid amount of, of money. Yeah. Like it was crazy. But I just hate how companies like EA, example, mm-hmm. for example, they also kind of do it like really greedy where they'll release. Uh, yeah. Well, you can only progress if you like. Mm-hmm. A lot of them said that you can that's, only. Progress that's when it gets out of hand. Was three more so that you got like. A good, really cool power ups on the well, loot you just boxes. Got, like a bunch of like they just released an ass ton of weapons. Okay, like a fucking so you didn't need amount. it. It just definitely helped. Well, you didn't need it, but it's also like if you're playing against players with these overpowered guns, yeah, you're there's screwed. no way to actually get it unless you just pick it up off the ground. Oh, but, okay, yeah, you're just gonna get fucked. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm glad they're trying to steer away from that stuff um, as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Maybe the next uh, Battlefront game will do it. Well, apparently <laughs> there's a Star Wars game coming out in November. Fall in order. Yeah. I and was going next the year. character, you know who they have as the main character is the guy who played the Joker in the Gotham series. He was also oh, in Jerome. Yeah, so he, they're using his for motion cap and stuff like that. Honestly, it reminds me of The Force Unleashed. To this day, is my favorite Star Wars game. Mind you, I never played the, like... You never played Battlefront? Battlefront. Mm-hmm. Or uh, what's it called? Uh, Old Republic. Old Republic, yeah. I never got into that, that one. That was a hell of a game. I don't or think I or the played. Old Republic MMO that they had. I never got into that. But when I played Force Unleashed, I liked that style. I so remember, Fallen Order definitely looks good. I remember Nick playing the Force Unleashed, and I just kind of like play a bit of it. But yeah. I never actually like... I was like young when it came out. I didn't mm-hmm. actually like go in depth. And Force Unleashed was dope. It was good. Hack and Slash, because that was the mechanics of the well, time. It was kind of like an Arkham Knight, like Arkham City kind of thing. Yeah, like basically. Like Not as fluid, but yeah. very close. But definitely, like, the abilities you had, you could throw the lightsaber, boomerang back. You could, like... Um, you can change up your color for, like, the kyber crystals in there. Yes. So oh. it powers differently. Yeah, and that would be pretty sweet. You could use the Force. Mm-hmm. The Force was definitely awesome in that. And you could do the one, like, uh, kind of like the Force bubble, where, like, you'd, like, explode mm-hmm. out kind of thing. Like, anyway. jump in the air, and it's like... Wah. Yeah. Okay. It was pretty sweet. Um, I had a couple things here from last week. Ooh. The Phase 5 is reportedly revealed, which is now relatively old news because everyone knows. Yeah, that was so at, February uh, 18th, Comic-Con. Yeah, February 18, 2022, Black Panther 2. May 6, 2022, Gardens of the... No, sorry, this is Phase 5. Oh, Phase 5. Yeah, so oh. 2022 is Black Panther 2. May 6, 2022 is Gardens of the Galaxy Volume 3. Yeah. July 29th, 2022, they don't have anything, and nor- neither do they have anything on May 3rd or the 10th of 2024, but those are the dates for three other yeah. other Marvel Phase Five movies. Well, I heard uh, that one other, and white it's all guy. St- it's all kicking off with uh, the Black Widow ro- movie. Okay, in that twenty twenty. I think he played somebody in the Hobbit. Did he play the Hobbit guy from Black Panther? The other white guy. Oh, oh um, yeah. yeah. He said that they're going to be filming Black Panther two in like twenty twenty one. That's about right. They need about so a year. A tight. Uh, it's- it's really a tight schedule. Well, if they Artists, do it exactly one year, yeah. Then he said they weren't going to film it next year, but he said twenty twenty one maybe. The first Black Panther wasn't very long, was it? it was about a two hour movie. It's, well, I guess in comparison, it's pretty short compared. It's, like it's it, it long. Was, I mean, the, yeah. for the longest time, we were watching hour and a half films, right? Yeah. And now we're at like two hours is the norm. Well, it with the occasional two hours forty five minutes. Yeah, I heard yeah. About that. That's yeah. crazy. But they're Actually, fine. I watched the first. The one thing now. though is that they they all track it based on box uh, office numbers, right? Yeah. So if they push it to three hours. Mm-hmm. The worries are okay. We're losing, let's say, half an hour or at least ten, at least fifteen minutes per theater per yeah. screening. How much revenue are we going to lose out of that? Yeah. Then they find out that oh, we're actually not losing that much, and it's worth stretching out our stories so we can make them better, so on and so forth. Yeah. 
And if they're good, then they pass by in a flash. Like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood felt really fast. Wolf of Wall Street really fast. Avengers Endgame really fast. Like actually, Endgame I was watching it on the flight back from home, and I actually had seen a, a good chunk of it here before I left. Mm-hmm. And I watched the rest of it on the plane. And exactly as we pulled up to the to the gate, yeah. and the thing attached, the movie ended. <laughs> so I was like, I timed it up perfect. But it, oh wow, it really went by fast. really quick. It all happened so fast. Well, a lot of it is, especially when you know the road you're going. Like, yeah. No. The first time you travel somewhere, you're like, how long is this going to take? I don't know yeah. how long it is. And then on your way back, it's faster. And then you go, it's like, oh, I recognize this old raggedy shack on the side of the road, so I know I'm roughly this far away. Yeah. But they're just going to keep pushing it, mm-hmm. you know. Well, just make the movie what you need it to do. Like, yeah. Just make a movie. Make it as long as you need it to be. Because the thing that's pissed me off now is Marvel is doing DLC for their movies. Because we had Endgame re-release. Okay. Now, Far From Home. I haven't seen it yet? Not yet. Wait, they're doing a re-release. Oh, that's not DLC. That's just straight up, like, we're selling, we're giving New up content. the game again. Yeah. And you can buy the game again. It's like, oh, but Spider-Man. I already bought it. Yeah. Yeah, Spider-Man. Oh, okay. but, I still haven't seen it yet. Nor have I seen John Wick 3 yet. Oh, you're... Far from home, at least is yeah. a, it's an actual finished scene. They're putting in the movie, not just like throwing oh, out the okay. end, like unfinished, but like yeah, it's kind of yeah. like Avengers just did that so Why they can go over the well, top, and exactly. it ended up working. Yeah, but like for Far from Home, there's no reason to re-release it. Well, mm-hmm. maybe because they found that they made bank off of Endgame. They're like, let's make more money because we don't have enough. Yeah, like Both what a bunch of shitheads! Hey? So surprising. Mm. What a bunch of shitheads! Foreshadowing. Spoiler alert: I have picked a side on this. Marvel and Disney battle. Mm. Uh, Woody Disney's Harrelson's wrong. Carnage is confirmed for Venom Two villain. No shit. Yeah, I don't know. I, when you saw, when I read that, I'm like, yeah, like that was. It was actual. Th- this obvious. is going to go to another point, but I'm going to like run down some of this stuff. Um, I don't want to talk about. I, I have in my notes here the controversial Bruce Lee scene, um, and Tarantino defended his position on that, and then the daughter told Tarantino to shut up, and then Kareem Abdul Jabbar put out something saying that it wasn't very proper. I'm still waiting. To hear to act like listen to actual people that aren't emotionally invested on how they felt yeah. and who are fans of Bruce Lee because mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of people that like oh Bruce Lee's the man it's like they know nothing about him yeah. it's like Tupac or Che Guerrera like they wear the T-shirt and they have no fucking idea who these individuals are it's absurd so again I just stand by my point of I didn't take it the way his daughter did but I'm not his daughter yeah, exactly. so yeah. I'm not. It's it's not gonna uh, like resonate with me. I can under just understand, and I said this on the other podcast we were talking about that at that time for someone like Bruce Lee to come in and not push, but espout his philosophies on individuals that don't believe in this, like believe in the mystic arts, so to speak. They're just stunt guys. Mm-hmm. I felt it was more of like, oh, this guy's coming in to a space that he doesn't know and trying to give his take on stuff. So it wasn't really making fun of him. It was just showing how ignorant both sides were to how the culture was at the time. Yeah. Boom. And I'm leaving it there. Mm. Uh, new Planet of the Apes movie planned at Disney will be a continuation, not a reboot. Finally, someone's doing a re- uh, continuation, not a reboot. Yeah. I think they have. They already had it there. It's ready to go for them. Is just it actually? Continue. Oh. Yeah. Well, so, the, oh, the story. The way War of the Planet sure. of the Apes ended? Yeah. Absolutely. I'm just glad they're not doing it. I know how it ends because someone spoiled it, but like, I like, know like, the guy dies. It's still worth Have no, you no, no, that seen has, the first two? Yeah, just haven't seen, oh, two, you just yeah. haven't seen the yeah. third one. I, I think the third one, yeah, it ties it were, off. You see, it basically, then um, the original Planet of the Apes that got released in the 70s, I believe, right? Yes. Um, I think it, those will be, that'll be reboots of those. Basically, mm-hmm. this story continuing. And the, it is actually a Planet of the Apes now, mm-hmm. and then New Man comes about or whatever. Right. Or they'll continue in their own way. There'll be another f- villain. Who knows how it'll play out, but yeah, it's um, there. Rumor has it that Loki will return for Thor, Love, and Thunder. I have a problem with that theory because I heard, like, I don't know if you have an actual detail about it. I know what the I just gist a, of it. What the, mm-hmm. So what they say it. is that from the TV show... Mm-hmm. Loki's gonna go to the main timeline mm-hmm. with the hammer, mm-hmm. and then Jane's gonna pick it up and come like female Thor. Okay, but it's also like, well, how the fuck would he bring it to the main timeline if he can't pick it up? Yeah, he's not. That's my they... only issue with the theory. It's kind of like, how would he get up there? Well, so. and and Nick had tried to yeah. make. He made a good argument for for the wrong Loki. He made a great argument for the wrong Loki because, again, the Loki that escaped in Endgame mm-hmm. is the bad mm-hmm. Loki that we haven't that hasn't As been redeemed, sacrificed yeah. himself to Thanos, so to speak. Yeah. The, th- the the Loki that died, that's the Loki that would be worthy to lift Thor's mm-hmm. hammer, I believe. Potentially. You know. Yep. But I'm, if he comes in at one point, I'm just going to... Now, gonna, okay, he's going to be, gonna be like in Kingsman it. Kingsman 2. Yeah. They brought back Colin Firth. 
how? Well, I just don't like how they're bringing back these characters that die from different times, like Gamora and Guardians of the Galaxy Three. It's like you know what, like no, no, no that makes that sense works, because though. that's a new Gamora. It definitely works for this. That, okay, that works, fine. but Loki is kind of like he's died so many times. It's like you don't that's, need him anymore. That's that true. I agree with. Like, I would say he's coming. Like okay, Loki's coming back in flashbacks potentially. Well, yeah, that's fine. But like him actually coming back is like a different thing than. Flashbacks. Is that what they were alluding to? No, the fact I think that he was he's coming actually, back. I think they were alluding to him coming back, but they also put out a bunch of reports saying that he's been lying to everybody for a long time. That's so he may true. not even come back. I mean, my my I trust Taika. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Whatever he does, if he's able to make his movie the way he wants to, which I think he will after Ragnarok's success, yeah. he's just going to do his own thing. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know, think it's it'll fine. be bad. I just think it's you don't need Loki. Like you don't no. need him. Like I'm no. sure it'd be good with him, but you, I'm sure it'd be good without him as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Too. As a flashback, different. Yeah. No. Uh, Ezra Miller confirms that the Flash movie is absolutely confirmed again. 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 Despite their behind the scenes issues, yeah. that's cute. So I hope they use this as a reboot button or like a soft reboot button. Yeah, like I feel like they need yeah. to just to like just to fix some things up here. Yeah, we, yeah we've just, already discussed how the DC use in shambles. Like right it's at this it's point. they've Minus, been doing better. Yeah. Sorry, not shambles. Just in a rough uh, patch right now. Well, it's like I feel like again they're they still were trying in a to find their patch, footing, but they're like going yeah. up very slowly now. Yeah, because like Aquaman was good, time. Shazam was good, just did bad box office because of like Endgame. Yeah, Biden really. I thought it was an okay movie. Wonder but Woman. The next one is gonna either like I think it's Wonder Woman two is next, right? Yeah, isn't that supposed to come this pretty close. winter? No, I think no, it's I next think year. next year. Is it already, oh, really that? Well, long? they don't have a trailer yet, so I don't oh, think I guess. Well, it doesn't matter. They can release. They might release one in the next little bit. But I, yes, it's I'm good. surprised it's, it's taking this long for that one to come out. To be honest, I thought it was gonna be this year by the end of the year. Uh, I, if they're not well, in a rush, I'm good. All like superhero movies are gonna have a female lead. I saw a post about that. All next year. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. So you got yeah, yeah. Black yeah. Widow, Wonder Woman, and then I think there's, I think it's Birds of Prey too is coming out next That's year. That's the yeah, one, yeah. Quinn, yeah. Did that you see one. the photo? I didn't see any of the photos. They apparently released a new for Birds of Prey. Yeah, like how she know. looks. Nope, I didn't I see it. That. All I know is that that one, if she does her thing, it's gonna be good. Be is it meant good. to be post Justice League or are we just they're they just wiping that? Stuff I I really hope it's pre, but the problem is they'd have to find a Joker. Yeah, to get, do it. Get Jared Leto out of there. Get him out of there. I don't think it's Jared Leto's fault. I feel like he just followed I, the script. I know. I think it's his fault. Well, yeah, but, but, but he also point. his portrayal of it was. He's not the, the, the one best. that decided, like, "Hey, I want to go with this," and they're like, "Oh, that's really different." Yeah. yeah. And then he was like, "He just, yeah, he just doesn't. He didn't get it. I just don't think he got well, it." Keen Phoenix, though, from what oh, I've been hearing. God, I want to see it. So I don't want to watch it screened. Trailer. I don't. Yeah, yeah, I think I, like no, uh, I, we talked about this. Oh yeah, at a festival they showed it. Venice, oh, right, the, yeah, yeah. the director of the Venice Film Festival <clears> said, "Like this movie's getting Oscars. Nice. Everything that's coming out about this movie is like this is it." Hmm. And which was interesting because he did. He was reluctant to do it because he's like, you know, I didn't want to be like this one note character that he finds the superhero movies to be. Yeah. But this is going to be it, man. This can be it for him. Well, mm-hmm. he doesn't really need it because he's such a great actor. Yeah. But Todd Phillips, this is going to be his movie. That's going to be like, Todd hey. Phil- you got one. Todd Phillips also said that, like, if they want a sequel, mm-hmm. uh, they kind of told him, like, hey, if you uh, can make this work, if it does good, like, box office wise, like, yeah. you can go ahead and do it. Yeah. So, I I mean, we haven't seen the movie. I really don't think they should. I don't think you really need one. I feel like it'd be, well, it depends so on how it ends. If it kind of ends with him, like, Gotham wise, or like him becoming like an actual, like, prince of, like, crime. Like, I yeah. just hope it doesn't because I want him to make this movie a one off, mm-hmm. his movie start to finish. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna mess up the whole thing. It always, it almost always does. Let's have a nice Dark Knight Rises ending where you kind of just allude to shit going on and you don't have to see it happen. There you go. Sure, that worked out great for them. Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss, Matrix Four. It's happening. It's wild. No Lawrence Fishburne though, which means that apparently they're gonna get like a young Morpheus, supposedly. Is that the guy who's like in the black guy? <sighs> That's I Lawrence don't, Fishburne. I don't get how they're gonna make this work, but hey. I've seen the I first three. So, as far as we're concerned, they're watch all the first one. Yeah, I'll say I, I, Lawrence Fishman's the only one that's alive. Type it's like the twentieth year anniversary too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. My friend wants to see it. Yeah, that's probably why they're announcing it. But and it's they... only Lena, uh, Lena Wachowski is going to be doing it. They have they, uh, the the um, the other one hasn't decided. Oh, I don't. So, think. Uh, is it true? Like from my understanding, that the first one was good, second one, and third one were like not very good. True. Okay. At least to me. See the the first one obviously kicking it all off as mm-hmm. kind of uh it was basically an original mm-hmm. like it wasn't anything from was it books i can't remember 
This is all an original script. No, this is all original stuff. So the first one coming out being so groundbreaking in itself, like the way it all was, plus obviously the, the symbolism the and the undertones and stuff like that. Yeah, it was the it movie was that changed the times. That the, this is like, oh, the second one was pretty good in, in the sense of like, it, it showed really bad CGI, oh. but it still showed new CGI that came about. Like the car scene, the highway scene. Exactly. Highway scene. Um... What other scene? Damn it! There's tons of them. The, that's what makes the it Smith interesting. scenes, like where they was fighting all of them. But that CGI looked terrible. Oh, for sure it did. But at the time, that was okay. Yeah. You say it now. Well, let's be honest here. What kind of CGI did you have to compare it to at the time? Scorpion King. Know. He just looked like a <laughs> character. Actually, I think Scorpion King was the one. I just don't know what they're going to do with it. Yeah. Like, I, if I, they don't have Lawrence that's, Fishburne, that's a really tough thing to do. Uh, if they have a young Lawrence Fishburne, that doesn't make sense. Well, if they're doing aging, tra- uh, they both died. Everybody died essentially, except, except for, for Morpheus. Morpheus. Yeah. So it's like and Jada. Spoiler alert. I don't really care. Yeah. And Jada Pinkett's character. and Jada. Oh wait, we should. Be- I don't. No, she's still alive. Either way, yeah. it would be a, a far cry for them to come back and do it to make it relevant, unless they do like some in between one. But even then, mm. I don't know. It'd be really so, hard. So, like, from my understanding of the Matrix, though, it's like they're in a simulation, right? Yeah. That's actually a, a common theory exactly. among... Exactly. Like, right now, that's super... a hot theory, though. Like that we're It's not a, true. I know, but we're in a but, simulation, right? So, yeah. doing a Matrix 4, if they do it, like, where it's kind of, like, in the... If they kind of do it, like... I know it's, like, a mindfuck movie, right? Sure. So, you do it, like, where it's in the actual real world, like, this world they right do now, it. Mm-hmm. and it kind of, like, mindfucks everything, I think it'd have potentially something interesting. Well, watch the first Matrix. It's watch, like, and even watch the other ones for some of the theories that they come up with. Because if, if essentially... Yeah, just watch it. If they're... Per, if Basically, if they're a per computer program, which is the one kind of was, basically, he was reborn. He was re-brought in, rebooted. There's an... Yeah, they're obviously, with everyone, there's a new one that yeah. comes in. However, you still have to go through the centuries to get to that point right yeah so it all starts off with one moment Mm -hmm. one bang so to speak and and civilization has to evolve in one way or the other so it depends how fast they allow it to evolve and at what point they do it before Mm -hmm. said one is introduced yeah so it's it's an interesting thing i hear the matrix i always think about a rick and morty episode where they're in a simulation and they keep escaping the simulation, but then they're in another simulation. Mm, they're in, like, they in a jump. simulation, in yeah. a simulation, inside a simulation. Wow. Well, the interesting thing about the simulation thing, I was listening to Sam Harris talk to, I think he was talking to, no, it wasn't Steven Pinker. He was talking to some other, uh, some other guy, some other scientist. And they were saying, like, it's not really possible, but because, like, the, the translations aren't the same. And even if we're worried about, like, what what's controlling us? Well, obviously, whatever's controlling us is very similar to what we are now. And yeah. how far does that simulation have a simulation, and so on and so forth, until it becomes irrelevant? Like yeah. I'd have to go back and listen to the whole thing and, and point it out. But it was a very very interesting discussion. It was, people it was actually unreal. like die like dead believe that we are in a simulation. Yeah, it's but like, I'm telling you, like actual scientists and, our and cosmologists are actually looking <laughs> at some game. of this stuff. Um, <laughs> The He-Man anime on Netflix by Kevin Smith? No? Never nice. was a He-Man. Oh. Were you? I know Nick is like a big-ass fucking... That's more... He-Man. That's Nick's generation, yeah. I think. The only thing is, like, A, it's anime, and I don't know if Kevin Smith's ever dabbled in anime. I know he's a huge fan of He-Man, so I don't know. It'd be really interesting to see what he does with it, because, so you know... to say when fanboys actually get their hands on their own the material that they love. Yeah. Sometimes works out great, sometimes yeah. not so much. Sometimes Bad not, fiction. for sure. Yeah, basically. But also, wasn't that supposed to be an Assassin's Creed anime like we talked about like Long two years ago. ago? Like, where the fuck is that? Honestly, I'm happy it's it. not happening. <laughs> Aren't they doing that other movie, though? Is that what you sent me the one time? No, they canceled it. You, oh, he they sent did it, cancel it. Fox, like, yeah, like, Fox uh, was it Disney? Disney When they acquired Fox, they, they canceled a whole bunch of sequels. The only one I was kind of excited for, what did I say? Which I'll one? check right now. I remember. I can't remember which one I said. But Look uh, the Assassin's Creed one, it could have been a sequel or it could have just been we're continuing the Assassin's Creed it could anthology have been a um, and go off of on, on, on another one. Let's bring Ezio into the mix. Ezio or, no joke, though. If they just stuck to the games lore, I think they could have done very well. That's a tough one, though, because then people are going to like it's just like watching a remake of like The Lion King. It's like we've already played yeah, through this yeah. thing and it's not going to be the same feeling because you're not experiencing the life the way that you experience it there. Like mm-hmm. the, the thing that video games, and I think I've said this before on this show, the problem with video game movies are that you remove the godlike feeling that we have as the player 
where we get in there and we feel like everything is happening because we're doing it. All the information is coming out because we are reaching those levels. Yeah. We are controlling our fate and the world around it. You can't translate that onto screen. It's impossible because everybody does things a different way, whether yeah. if it's in an Assassin's Creed game, whether I'm going to take the rooftops or whether I'm going to go on the ground, whether I'm going to assassinate from a haystack or not. Mm-hmm. All of that, you feel that this is my world. Yeah. Like even with Red Dead 2, and I think I might have even used that as the example. I haven't played that game yet. Uh, I just finished the Spider-Man DLCs, you though. You played it? Very good. I haven't played it since. Oh, okay, okay. Like, I was wanting to go back into it after I completed it and started over again. But I'm like, no, like, I created everything the way that it was. And for some reason, that game happened to have this, like, effect on me that's like, no, like, it, it ended as, as best as I could possibly end it. Mm-hmm. And this is where it lives. And <laughs> then that's it. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's oh. so, in, like, it's so hard to do. Yeah. You know? So speaking about uh, like video game movies, they actually canceled a lot of video game movies, I notice now. So Assassin's Creed 2, mm-hmm. Chronicle 2, mm. Magic the Gathering, Mega Man. I didn't see Magic going anywhere. The Sandlot prequel, I assume it's Thank S-N-A-D. God. I don't know. Yeah, no kidding. Were there, there were kids. How would it be a prequel? Their parents starting it? Yeah. I don't know. The, fir- the people who first created that I Sandlot? I saw in grade 7, so I don't know. Is there like, I don't know if there's any lore Someone to Someone actually Honestly, building Honestly, it's a good as it is. Okay. That's when you do not touch. Flash Gordon. <laughs> McLean, and then this was the one I think you talked about, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, yeah. You know what? I love League. It's, it's such a cult classic in its own way. Like, it had a... It's not great by any means, but you still enjoy it. I don't know what it is. You just enjoy it. Sean Connery, of course, being in it is amazing. So, uh, the sequel would have been interesting. He definitely wouldn't have been in it, but... Mm-hmm. Because his character would have aged out. But there's a lot of, like, the supernatural ones in there that would have still been around kind of thing. They would have figured it out. I also, re- I remember I have actually technically two reviews to fit yeah. in this. I saw the, I finished The Boys, and that oh, yeah. was a good ass fucking show. Like you guys need to see this. Like that was just actually The Boys. I wait. Good Boys, yeah, both Good Boys and The, the Boys. Boys. We saw I, I the saw show. It. You saw the you saw The Boys. Oh yeah, such a good show. Did we talk about it last oh, time? You did. Hey, I haven't seen it yet. The TV series. Yeah, oh, you and they have. Se- they already started filming season two. Oh, yeah. So it's coming out soon. But Boys was amazing. Oh, I totally so. thought we talked about this. Uh, no, I know uh, Brandon talked about it. I don't. Oh. I think you talked about the first couple episodes. You hadn't finished it, and you said it's really good. Oh, yeah. No, oh, it was amazing. Good ass. But, okay, hold on. It starts off with, uh, yeah. with A-bomb. I, need, I need to watch it first. Yeah, no, I'm not going to spoil anything. Yeah, I want yeah, him yeah, blind. Yeah. Yeah. Such a good fucking Before show. Before we get into some of our other topics, how was Good Boys? So I went with a bunch of like Greek guys. Oh, and he yeah. was like memeing the whole time, and it was such a funny movie. Like you just go in, just have a good time, yeah. mm-hmm. and it wasn't even just a like movie that's like bad. Yeah, it was actually like a well like thought out like movie, good comedy. Yeah, and it was just like it wasn't cheaply. Yeah, no, made. it wasn't it like wasn't just thrown together. Oh, they for had jokes. extra jokes too that weren't in the trailer. From what I saw, they were actually yeah, I funny. Hope so, but like yeah, some of the jokes that was kind of that Deadpool effect where you saw it in the trailer, like hey, Stranger Things, go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, which was really funny watching it the first time, but like in the theater, it was kind of like. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. But guy. they had a bunch of like, it was such a funny fucking movie, honestly. Like, just the way they portrayed kids and how they act and how they talk about things was like, let's be honest. Actually, a authentic. lot of kids this age are in this age mm-hmm. group now. They're they, like they, that. They, they act like that. Oh, yeah. they, they're they so desensitized. Whereas, like, we grew up pretty shit. Like, younger kids sheltered, sheltered a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like, we'd, oh, you don't swear, you don't do this. Yeah. No. Whatever. But these kids, like, yeah, that's a little bit more accurate. It seems <laughs> it seems to me it's like the super bad but much younger. Well, that's what everyone says. I don't Yeah. Which is not no, not comparing while. it to super bad, but yeah, like no. you have your three the characters feel, yeah. who are all like super foul mouth and yeah. but in this case they're really young. I mean, I really hope they make a sequel. I know it's like making bank and doing really well, like oh, rating yeah? wise as well. So I think they're going to. Interesting. I remember I was listening to this on the radio though, like Z ninety nine, our local radio station, said Good Boys broke a record for like the highest rate, like highest grossing, like R rated movie, R rated movie with twenty one million this weekend. Like, like that's not that doesn't sound that's not a lot of money. I'm pretty sure Deadpool made more, but yeah, did like, they classify it the same? It is, but I looked into it this year. This it made the most for a comedy this year. Oh, okay, yeah, oh, not okay. of all time. So yeah, it's yeah, at ninety nine. Yeah. Fact, yeah. man, just busted that shit down. That's wrong. <laughs> well, yeah. that's good. How much you know, you, like? Would you recommend it? to Oh yeah, to go, go see. see. Like if you. If you got like any enjoyment watching a trailer, like just yeah. go watch. It's a two hour long version. Well, it was that. so confusing because everyone would say, oh, go watch The Boys. And then, oh, then there's The Good Boys mm-hmm. coming out. And I'm like, mm. the and the heck? second one's already released, hasn't it? Of The Boys? No, no it's they filming. filming. Filming season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. they got the green light like yeah. pretty much right away. <laughs> everyone loved it. It's oh, one of those. It's amazing. Well, Brandon and I talked about on the Hollywood Trends thing. It's yeah. 
He's like, what do you think it's going to take going forward? And I'm like, well, it's stuff like The Boys. And we talked about how The Boys and The Watchmen oh, yeah. are very similar. I cannot where, wait for The Watchmen show. Watchmen, not, not I'm going to be but like when the, when the Watchmen comic came out and when The Watchmen movie. movie came out, they came out at times when there was a lot of comics coming out. Mm-hmm. And so The Watchmen undercut the whole genre. Yeah. When the movie came out, it was mixed reviews, but it was another movie that undercut the superhero genre because it's going yeah. on the rise, right? And then The Boys comes out. Where it again undercuts the superhero genre, mm-hmm. and it, it undercuts it in not a way like that spits on it. It's just like here's like another way, just like Brightburn did, mm-hmm. right? It just Is that turn, yeah. yeah, it turns it, it on its right head, <laughs> and uh, and it, it's like that new era of doing stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. there's always a response to what's going on, mm-hmm. and someone will find the the humorous or like even the darker, real darker side of things, like yeah. the the bad side of the good and the good side of the bad. Oh yeah. So like, I'm not gonna go into detail, but the boys has like some scenes that actually like broke my heart. Like they were just so like fucked up and sad. Oh yeah. It's kind of like I loved it though. Like airplane. Yeah. The oh airplane. yeah. Oof, but that's as all a DCEU say, airplane. fan, yeah. Fucking oh my god! It's like <laughs> an actual good DCEU. Like oh, just yeah. the style they were going for. Fucking, it's actually a good mm-hmm. fucking show. So mm-hmm. it's not like BVS for it. I loved. But I can admit was not very good. This <laughs> That's is great. Fair. Oh yeah, so no, they good. hit it out of the park. Mm-hmm. Great cast, obviously with Carl Urban. He's like, like he's we talked. He's very. He's one of the most versatile. Wolverine. He's your oh, really fan casting him for Wolverine now. Interesting. I could, I could see that now. Oh, I could see it too from the show. He's just yeah. got that. Um, you know what? He's got that look when he gets angry. Like if you watch Red. Yeah, he's like he just got that scowl where if you throw some like facial hair on him, like he he has that pointed nose. Red was actually a really good kind of the under first the one table. was fun. Yeah, it was a comic book. Movie yeah, that's too. right. It's comic, not the superhero, but sucked, so, but the first one yeah. was funny. Have you seen and, it? And he, no. you it's should like watch it. Basically, it's like fun. old men uh, retired and extremely spies, dangerous. Yeah. yeah, retired and extremely dangerous. There you go. Um, acronym. Okay. Seems like Mortal Kombat may have found its Liu Kang for the movie. Um, that's old news. I think mm-hmm. may have found. Oh, I think they actually just casted Luke someone Kang. recently. Oh, like I, yeah. I, I, uh, they, Ludi Ludi Lin is reportedly in talks to take on the role of Liu Kang. Uh, he played a small role of Captain Merc in James Wan's Aquaman. Um, he looks like he could be the part. Oh. So that's sweet. Hmm. Uh, he was also played an almost too perfect role of Lance in the Black Mirror episode Striking Vipers. Lance is a video game avatar I inside watch that. a game. Which is clearly inspired by Mortal Kombat and other tournament fighter styles. Mm-hmm. Um, blah 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 blah. Yeah, so that's that one. Yeah. Um, Ewan McGregor signs on to do Obi Wan for Disney Plus. Who cares? Well, that's kind of uh, like, yeah, that's pretty yeah, cool, that's, man. That's... But we've been talking about him doing it anyways. Like we all assumed that he was going to well, do one. Well, we were, we movie. wanted him to do his own standalone Kenobi movie. Yep. And but I think oh, and there's a Mandalorian like this. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow the trailer comes. Oh, out. Oh, the trailer. I was yeah. like, yeah. no, not the movie. Yeah. I was like, the poster TV came series. out. Is yeah. that series? It's a series. Well, what's a what's the third spinoff movie? I guess the they won't until after. I don't know what the movie uh, is. That shouldn't be until after yeah. episode nine, technically. I dude, honestly, because Solo was. I don't care because I don't care about Star Wars. I get that. I don't get that. Whatever. But I remember they showed a trailer for good like Star Wars during Good Boys. I'm like, oh yeah, this shit's coming out this year. <laughs> I really forgot about it. Yeah. Oh, it's the first trailer then. Yeah. To- oh, really? Wow. Tomorrow's the first trailer of The Mandalorian. I'm talking about episode Star- nine. Yeah. Are they, they releasing a trailer tomorrow? No. no. They already did. The only no. They released a second one? Okay. That was the first one. What the trailer are you talking about? They released the trailer for... The, she, when she does the back fl- or front flip over the Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, we've seen oh, that wait, teaser yeah, trailer. Yeah, the yeah, second yeah. one. They'll probably wait till D23 to release the second oh, one. Yeah. They've got till December, so they've got some time. Because D23, they always release that I totally forgot we got the teaser trailer. Yeah, Whoopsie. and I'm pretty sure I just said they haven't released any trailers, but no, they did the release one, that one. Yeah. Yeah. No, but again, flipped over. Yeah. I just don't care. But the Mandalorian one, yeah, I'd be interested. I don't care because it's just too much. Okay, whatever. And just, even with MCU, I'm glad <laughs> if they took a break for four years. Yeah, honestly, it's just kind of like, mm. like yeah. I, I, I listen. I talked to somebody about. It, I was like, do you like other stuff other than superhero stuff? I'm like, I love more things than the superhero stuff. It's just the stuff that's in the know. Okay, that that's or sorry, that's happening. So, I like the themes in them. I'd rather talk about whether you pick Cap or Tony's side in Civil War than actually talk about Civil War the movie. Mm-hmm. Like that's more of an interesting conversation, right? So that reminded me, like just talking about like your favorite movie and stuff like that, other than superhero movies. Yep. So at the landmark interview, it was a team interview at the start. Oh. And no shade to anyone there. Was there a casting couch? No, sadly. Oh, lucky for you. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> sadly for you, lucky for you, you know. Well, Hello, Anthony. In. What is that? Come on in here. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
you know, <laughs> just from the memes. But just we walk in, like, what are your favorite, like, what are your favorite movies? And we go around this, like, table. Yeah. And some guy says The Goonies. Uh, I forgot what some other guy said. Or he said Logan. And some girl said Avengers. And okay. she's like, oh, well, which one do you like the most? And she's like, oh, I don't know. And I, she's like, uh, Age of Ultron. And I was Ooh. so close to saying, wrong. If I wasn't in the, was in the interview, I said, you picked the worst option. You did. But they started talking back and forth, like, oh, yeah, I really have the storyline in that one. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I said Hacksaw Ridge. I was Ooh, the only one. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm like, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, that's yeah. a really good one. It just reminded me of that. I was cringing that's really good. hard. <laughs> this kind of like blends into, oh, I forgot to say Peter Fonda died at 79. Easy mm-hmm. Rider star. Yeah. Classic, uh, classic uh, actor mm-hmm. in the game. I had one here, a note that said stupid headlines for pointless information is an, in end game of end game details. So it seems like every single little detail they come up with. I, I thought I had screenshot or save some of them, but clearly I'm like not going to be able to. Like that, they make a whole no, but it's over. like they have this. Like, we finally found out what happened with this and this. And then like it's this whole article and it's one line because the directors told us to. It's like, what the hell, man? That's yeah. not news. But they make these these titles now of all these stupid details, Clickbait and they're is awful. And, and like everybody's releasing it, and it's like, mm. come on, guys, this isn't actually like legitimate information. Yeah. You haven't even said anything. You've just wasted my time and caught yeah. my fucking. Cl- That's why they do it. God damn it! I got tricked. It's just stupid details. Yeah, some of our stupid details. The one I I show I was kind of segues nice into this is that the writers now have confirmed. Like it's been a theory that there's two Captain Americas in this whole. Universe. Right. Well, there's that photo at, at Peggy's funeral, mm-hmm. and One. that was technically that was actually well, the Captain America. See the other. And Peggy had two, like actually had a husband, like the husband that died, but she was can't. actually Cap. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. Technically, that was the other theory. I don't know if it's that true. But. The yeah, that he died and stuff like, that, or that she couldn't remember, and then he told her, "I'm dying." And it's he a chicken and the egg thing. Like, yeah, would this have happened if Thanos never came down and they had to go back in time and do this stuff because they Maybe didn't not. discover what yeah. it was? Like. It's, it, I, I don't, it doesn't play for me. It's no. cute, it's fun, but yeah. it doesn't play. So it's kind of like, well, they really contradicted themselves by saying, like, you're like, going back in the past doesn't affect your future. Yeah. So how well, they didn't him... contradict themselves. That, yeah. Like, that start, that part plays. Because it didn't affect. But when they try to weave it back in and say, oh, this, this was Captain America. Well, it's kind of like with the along. Spider-Man Easter egg and Iron Man 2, which is like, okay, that works because yeah. nothing like contradicts it. Like in that way. Sure. It continues on mm-hmm. the whole, everything plays out. But like Captain America is kind of like. They just kind of like someone pointed out, yeah. like, yeah, that could work. Sure, why not? Like, that, we yes, he got strange. woken up back in 2012 again. No. Yeah, well, went for Avengers. Yeah, no, he came back. Oh, sorry. For I don't know what he did. I, who, what maybe the, the, the like. It would have been like 2010. Going back. Well, him, him coming back. They thought him out. Like I'm saying, saying that cap, the ice cap. Oh yeah, the ice cap. <laughs> Non-Canadian viewers. Timmy Hall's got an ice cap. <laughs> ice cap. <laughs> it's a Tim Hortons drink called the Iced Cap. Yeah. For all you Americans. Why haven't they figured to do that for like the Fourth of July or something? Well, yeah. I guess. Oh, the Ice Cap. Well, it's a Canadian <laughs> company. Why would they do it for the Fourth of July? No, they can. Ice Starbucks cap. can cover. It's just a cappuccino, an iced yeah. cappuccino. It's not an actual. We Tim get Hortons royalties thing. for this idea, Tim yeah. Hortons. So. <laughs> the Iced Pat Cap. Bending. That's fantastic. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it's just really funny when I yeah. look at it, and they just like just. Huge exclamation mark points or marks on their fucking title, and then all of a sudden it's something completely innocuous. And it's from a reliable source. Like we now finally realize, like information they seem to have been trying to figure out since the movie came out. We now finally realize why like, Black yeah, Panther was I, the I, first person to come out of the portals. It's like, no, we weren't thinking that. We know why. The reason like, why Black Panther was the first to come out was because the writers wrote it that way. Yeah. Thank you. That's a good enough. Ex- that's a well, good enough reason for me. He's the king of Wakanda. Well, so he's and lead he's army. offering his army to Cap once again to fight cool. with them. Like this, but I mean, it's not a. We finally found out. It's always that we finally figured out this. We finally know this. We finally know that. It's like it's not like we've been wondering about this yeah. stuff. Like you guys that wrote it weren't even figuring this stuff out. But it's also the thing I sent uh, the other day. Stan Lee's like social media is being used to promote clickbait articles. Yeah, yeah. which is like. That's super shitty. What the fuck is doing? Who's in charge of this? No Take class. the man's account away. I no sent class. you guys that Stan Lee thing about his daughter, right? Yeah. Well, that, that one's crazy. crazy. So we're going to wait until... Yeah, I don't know yeah, how yeah, I feel yeah. about don't it. Go, don't go down that road now. No? Well, I think don't we kind of reach that. Is there anything else is to there talk anything about? Else? Well, we could, like, it's... Discuss it's a part first. of it, I guess. Um, I guess we can leave. It. It's it is part of it. I'll then bring it up like later on. I was gonna oh, say okay. if there's anything else you have on your uh, let list. Let me just there. see. Let me just see. Mm, stupid on point lines. Yeah. One thing I think oh. I, I posted to you guys actually while I was back, kind of going to the Assassin's Creed stuff. They have that orchestra, like uh, the Assassin's Creed experience. You know how they did like oh, I've Game of seen Thrones the trailers. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. They did I've a seen Dragon it. Ball one, and it just looks so hype. I don't know if they've done that yet. Probably talk about the Avengers game. They have just a bunch of like they do it all the time. Like they did Nintendo the Avengers game. 
We didn't talk much about the Avengers game. So oh, they, they, the Gamescom released the 18 minutes of footage or whatever. Mm-hmm. I liked it a lot more. Honestly, people complain about graphics. It's yeah. a fucking video game. I play it for fun, not to yeah. like stare at it. So, well, I'm pretty sure kind of like, everyone's yeah. different. People That's why it looks, it looks like PS2 games. Like, shut up! No, it That's doesn't. That's not true. I, I honestly address. think it's it's beta. Yeah. So well, naturally, alpha. I think it's alpha. You think it's alpha? Well, it's come out to like mid next year. Oh, there you go. So it's probably alpha content. Yeah. You can tell they you definitely see, changed. It's Black the Widow's first face. Oh, yeah. twenty minutes of uh, gameplay, from what I understand. Sure. And Before you play it, and they show each character. So it's pretty sweet. And it's confirmed that Camilla Khan's going to be in it because that's who the girl was that met them. Is that oh, the Miss Marvel? Marvel. Okay. Yeah. I, I love reading the comments. People are like, yeah, I can't wait to main Cap for the first 20 minutes of the game because he dies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I no, really I, die. I, I that's like, where they, um, they dies, it might go point. under the lore of the, um, uh, Captain Hydra. And he's yeah. part of that. Because people have said they wouldn't be surprised if he came back as the villain. I'm like, yeah, that kind of sure. makes sense. Like, why yeah. not? There, there is a Captain Hydra, apparently. Comic yeah. book? Yeah. Or yeah. Well, it's when he like went Hail Hydra and then became Captain Hydra. Mm. But then they were denounced it that he was a, he was a sleeper, sleeper, sleeper agent. Ooh. And then he slept further and became an even sleeper, sleeper agent. Um, no, it looked good, though. Books. Some of the moves were good. Thor's stuff looked good. I mean, obviously, they pulled from a lot of games. It's got that Arkham feel. It's got yeah. that Spider-Man PS4 feel. It's got the God of War feel. Yeah, I was Thor with, stuff. With, with Captain America's ha- uh, shield where he throws it, kind of yeah. like magnets to pull it back. That's an Avengers Age of Ultron type of thing because he had that same thing. Like, yeah. he had the magnetic thing, which he, they never brought back. Like, they just had it for Age yeah. of Ultron where it actually was him summoning it. No, no, they put it in sweet. him, like, you know how... Like, Iron Man suit style? Sure. Oh, yeah, like when he called it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's a good... They probably did that. You never know. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. But uh, no. <laughs> Clickbait article. Oh, my God. Can't believe what just happened. This is Vandoros claims. We finally <laughs> figured out how many hairs he has on his chinny chin chin. Three. Three hairs. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, I, I liked how they showed each individual person. I don't know why Hawkeye's not in this. He is. I, oh, no, yeah. I mean, like in that it, trailer. Yeah, that's a good point. I never even thought about that. And, like, and I like that they had Taskmaster, which kind of blends into the Black Widow movie yeah. that she's fighting Task, Taskmaster. Mm-hmm. This one does have has nothing to do with the PS4 Spider Man, right? No, people are saying it's like very heavily speculated. It does. They don't, so, they're not answering the question. They're saying we can't. I remember they said, like, if we revealed it, the roof would blow off this place right now. Maybe, but so is the Taskmaster in this the same Taskmaster in Spider Man PS4? I mm-hmm. assume so. Because they look different. Well, yeah, but like even then, it's kind of like t- timeline-wise. Maybe it's maybe Spider-Man PS4 is set in the future. Oh shit! And then Honestly, they go back in time to the battle this, of this San Francisco has potential to like keep going with the storyline and build the Avengers as it is and stuff like that. It's so. gonna be its own thing. It gives yeah. the well, chance for sure. for Xbox players to play as Spider-Man. Yeah, it's true. Because yeah. he's gonna be in it too, right? Oh, well, like, are they yeah. shoving this game with all the heroes in it, or is it strictly gonna be the original six? No, I, there's gonna be more people eventually. Yeah. I don't well, think, I think right away. I, I yeah. Either way, I like that this. I like the styles look good. Iron Man's flying was a little bit clunky, but it still kind of worked. I like his suit though. I don't know why. I just do like it. Just yeah. looks nice. It looks yeah. comic book like really. It does. Yeah. The, the face especially, like mm-hmm. the one mm-hmm. the one tone color looked mm-hmm. really good. Hulk's stuff looked really good. Yep. Um, the jumping. He's I, clearly gonna have more because they wouldn't cast Troy Baker to play the do the Hulk's voice. If, yeah. And if he wasn't going to be a very prominent Who's character, Troy Baker? he's the guy who did uh, Joel in Last of Us. Okay, he's okay. like he's a very prominent yeah, no. voice actor now. Mm-hmm. And him and Nolan North do a lot of stuff. Ooh, together. Deadpool could be in the game. Nolan North. He is. He's Stark. Nolan North voices oh, Tony Stark. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who voices Cap, but Cap sounds very similar to the guy that's voicing Thor. Like they both have very stoic and great voices. Um, but yeah, that looks good. Okay. Let's get to it. Mm. Let's get to it. Civil War Sony two. versus Disney. It's about to go down. Well, it is. Or it down. is going down, or it has gone down, and there's reports every single time coming out over the fallout of Sony and Disney, which means that Spider-Man is pretty much 99.9% not going to be in the MCU, this even though there's crack. a two-movie contract with Marvel, but he won't be if uh, this all goes down the wrong way. I want you gentlemen... To start. Well, first of all, I'm going to call it right now. Disney's going to crack. Spider-Man's going to go back to the MCU because as much as I hate to say it, they made Spider-Man such a big deal in their future. And Sony has all the fucking cards right now because they all like they made it really prominent that they want Spider-Man to be the lead of the MCU. All Marvel. Like, honestly, don't really give a fuck with the MCU if Spider-Man's not in it. Like, everyone else is dead. So it's kind of like, what's the point? Iron Man's gone. Cap's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thor's going to be gone soon enough. Spider-Man is really like... My only reason to give a fuck, like that's it. So, oh. well, it's honest. Yeah. Like I'll watch it all, but I won't really care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, Sony's in the right, I think. Mark, like Disney, 
from going, I know they went for thirty percent, like as uh, people said, it wasn't fifty percent, but yeah. still, that's six times the amount they agreed upon, and they did fucking make the agreement. So why are they bitching about it? No, no, the, the agreement ended. Like it was for the five movies. Oh, it's done. Oh, yeah. they renegotiated. This is a renegotiation. Oh. So basically, Disney said, and I th- again, all speculation, all based on articles, blah blah blah. They said that. Uh, Feige talked to him like, we'll get you that billion dollars and we can come back to the table after this movie. And sure shit, they did it. So I think it's from a business standpoint and like they basically held up their end of the bargain in the sense and made this character what it is. And they're looking for, let's say forget their massive success and the amount of shit they have going on. This one alone, they've boosted it all on their own backs. Mm-hmm. Sony has basically didn't lift a finger for any of the success behind it, and yet they're reaping most, if not all, the benefits. Let's well, say. Disney has all the merchandise, though. True, but how much is the merchandise versus what the actual movie makes? They the probably box make office? a lot of merch off Spider Man. Like he's like the most profitable. No, no, but let's though. be honest. Between what it makes the box office versus the merch, I honestly a fifty fifty split on everything to me. Also on the always back, is fair. Also on the back of uh, Spider Man Two being the highest grossing Spider Man movie or something mm-hmm. of all time. Is yeah. that what it is? Spider Man Two. Well, it's the first Spider Man Home. Far from Home. home. Sorry. Oh, well, actually, Spider Man Two did actually make a billion dollars to you uh, just for inflation. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, we don't do that. Still though. love that movie. <laughs> but I'm saying, based so on you're the, on, you're on uh, Disney side. I'm on the side of like just come to a fair agreement. Forget it. again. They're, but but they're, what we've seen so yeah, far, yeah, you're sure. on Disney. I'm on. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you're on Sony. You're on Sony's mm-hmm. side. You? Why? Well, here's the thing, right? So I do like admit or agree that like, sure, if you want to do fifty fifty, that's fair. Mm-hmm. But it's also Sony has all the cards where they did build Spider-Man up to be so big right now. True. Where they can just take him out and he'll still be as big. Venom already proved that. Even if I didn't like Venom, made a billion dollars. So some people did. Until Spider Verse won an Oscar, and those two were Sony only. They had no one else's help. Yeah. So they can prove that they can do something on their own. Yeah. Also, the Raimi trilogy was all Sony as well. They have somewhat of an idea as to go. And it seems like with these past two Spider-Man movies, they actually kind of like got their shit together from like the Tasm series. So mm-hmm. Sony has all the cards. Sony has all the leverage. Disney kind of has really nothing going for them because Sony can, they pulled out, they fucking yeah. did the alpha move. And I feel like Disney's going to crack because mm-hmm. they need Spider-Man for the future of the MCU. And that's it. I disagree with some of your stuff and some of your stuff. Right in the middle, they right? don't need Spider-Man for the MCU. He is a prominent character. He is like the he is on the Mount Rushmore of superheroes. He's a big part of it for sure. But Tony Stark was bigger. Cap was bigger. So anybody that they were any fans that weren't going to follow through or keep going with them would have been already because of whatever happened in Endgame, right? With mm-hmm. with him dying and Cap being old. I do agree though a lot that it with you, sorry, that Marvel and Disney, Kevin Feige, okay, mm-hmm. not Disney, Kevin Feige, built Spider-Man up to be the one that we like mm-hmm. a lot. They did a really good job. Everything that he's been involved in has been with the MCU, and it's been really good. Yeah. Okay? Not amazing, but exactly what we wanted. Yeah. Especially on the back of the Amazing Spider-Man series. Mm-hmm. That Sony fucked up on, and they almost lost the rights. I think what's going on right now, oh, also, to that point, you may think 50 50 is good, but if I start a deal with you at mm-hmm. 5%, and then all of a sudden I come back and I say, hey, we're jacking this up 10 times, you're going to be like, fuck you, no. Mm-hmm. Even if it is a split between merchandise and, and box office sales, because yeah. that's a big jump. They should True. have had that deal before Far From Home to bump it up to like, hey, let's go from 5% to 10%, Double and then it. we can work on it and build it. It is a very big jump. Mm-hmm. However, it doesn't mean that Marvel doesn't have the cards to an extent because it's like, we made you. Yeah. Right? Um, it's it's very similar to, I was working at a place and me and the owner would always butt heads. He invested the money and he owned the place, but I put all the creative behind it and I busted my ass all the time to make it good. Yeah. And even though I sure deserved a lot of the work that I did. Yeah. He still owned the place, and I had to secede to him. And I think yeah. Disney trying to pull rank like that mm-hmm. is kind of showing that Disney is just bullying themselves. They bought Fox. They think we can do that. Yeah. You guys almost lost Spider-Man. We were able to bring him back to to prominence for the mm-hmm. world to see. But it was just them borrowing it. Sony, though, 
They have false confidence over Venom. Mm -hmm. I believe it's false confidence Mm -hmm. because the movie was a 50% movie at best, but it did make money. They decided to buy Insomniac Games Mm -hmm. to have control over Spider-Man PS4, Mm -hmm. which I think is a bad idea because I don't like when big companies impede over smaller companies because I think that could affect Spider-Man going forward. My guess is we won't be seeing free suits through Sony. proper means of game progression. I see Sony pulling some stuff loot box style, just like EA has done to other companies that they brought, quote unquote, under their wing. Mm-hmm. These just companies need to make money and they find kind of the shittier way to do it. Yeah. So they bought that. They got Andy Circus for Venom 2, so they have false confidence on that. Mm-hmm. They have Insomniac, as I mentioned. Yeah. And now they look at Spider-Man being this extremely viable character. Mm-hmm. And then they see that Disney's coming in with what they see as an outlandish request, even though if it wasn't for Marvel, mm-hmm. they'd be nowhere. Yep. So I, I'm not sure because at the end of the day, if I'm a business owner and I've got some young guy that, yeah, did a lot of work, it's like, well, that's why I brought you in to do anyways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was the what was the, the the look on the what was the proper deal? And also for Disney, the big empire that's floating in the sky with their tractor beam about to blow up all the other companies and consolidate everything. Yeah. They look like the bad guy because they're coming in there and trying to muscle around. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm at. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think? Well, a lot of good points on both sides. The whole Sony having all the cards, yeah, that's their only card though. That's, like that's a thing too. That's a that's only franchise. Only thing that. So would listen, you they have it? the Jumanji franchise. They have them and in Black franchise. So they have some. The James Bond technically is under their wing too. Oh, which we didn't talk about. Bond's got a new title, but yeah. we'll talk about that after. Um, but with this situation, uh, they're just holding onto it for dear life, even though they know they can't really do much with it without MCU help. Because, like we said, there's still two more, two more movies set to take place with Tom Holland and the director. Producer? producer apparently not like well not the director yeah, yeah but tom holland has yeah. signed up for two more oh two more mcu movies for sure under disney oh okay so, yeah yeah those two movies are still contracted under okay. mcu that's like where i'm not sure without sony well they can't do it with if the deal's I, broken so, I, so then there'd have to be a buyout i find it funny that their contract for the five movies is up yet they still have two more standalones based on that old contract so yeah, really they shouldn't sure. come back to the table until those two movies are done well, let me. This is this is the one thing I sent to you guys last night. So yeah. more details are coming to light regarding the Disney and Sony impasse that led to a deal not getting done between the two studios, at least at the moment. And there's one discrepancy seems to be what Disney actually asked for. Initial reports stated that Disney had asked for a 50% stake in regarding in regards to upcoming Spider-Man movies, mm-hmm. but in a new report by the Hollywood Reporter, that number isn't as high. The number cited here is 30% stake. Like you said, what you said, and I think that's why where you got it from because yep. the original one was 50. So. This 30. is what happens when you don't read the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, the number cited here is 30%, which is still significant, but 20% can make a world of difference when you're talking over a billion dollars for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's how the numbers would work if that deal was in place for Far From Home. The budget for Far From Home was $160 million, and you often double that for advertising costs. If you double it, that number becomes $320 million. Subtracting 320 from the box office pull of one billion one hundred and ten thousand three hundred fifty seven six forty I can't say that billion leaves us with seven hundred and ninety thousand three hundred and fifty seven six hundred and forty and a thirty percent cut of that is two three seven one zero seven two nine two million for Marvel and the rest so of Sony, which is two hundred and seventy million for Marvel, two hundred and thirty seven million and then the rest goes to Sony, which so is five hundred and fifty three million. Yeah. Uh, for Sony, it seems that even the 30% number cuts too far into their profits for their liking, and any studio would rather have that $790 million over the $553 million amount. So that definitely does change things a little bit. Yeah. However, it's still uh, it's still a conversation of who owns it, what yeah. the deal was originally, who's coming to the table, and also what, what could happen from mm-hmm. that, I guess. Because I don't know if... I, I, I have no faith that Sony can actually make this whole Spider-Verse thing happen. They're bringing Jared Leto to do this Mo- Mobius movie, which is a complete random character that nobody knows. He's a vampire. Yeah. The only thing that would work for that is, hey, if Mobius was in the MCU, so when they brought Blade in, Blade can fight Mobius or Morbius or yeah, whatever Morbius. the fuck his name is. Morbius. Mm-hmm. So even, even with that jump, that 20% is, mm-hmm. as they said, very high. Yeah. But it is that argument of I made you. 
Like, I made this happen yeah. so you guys can do this. So it does look bad on Sony's part being, a, well, this looks great. We're going to take them back now because we can't reach an agreement. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm on the side of Disney. Like, I'm s- sticking firm to that. And But on the other hand, they see that the negotiation is going south like that. I think what Disney needs to go after is shared rights. So that... So yeah. that they can't that's hold they did, all the courts. Yeah, they probably would have that, tried that, that already. That's what the deal that. is yeah, right now, so? but they wouldn't do it. I guess no. that's pretty the most obvious That would have been thing, the so. first thing. It's like, hey, let's <laughs> We never heard them. about that. Again, yeah. we don't know yeah. the details of their deal. We all know speculation. So we, we yeah. only hear, oh, they wanted 30% of the take, and they're still letting Sony hold on to it. My thing would be, okay, well, let's just do 10%, but you guys have shared rights, and we can't. We don't do this anymore. Well, they probably looked at it from the idea of, listen, we came in, and we only took 5%. Yeah. Which is very low. And then we turned them into a juggernaut. Yep. Two movies and three cameos. He was a juggernaut in our movies. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you guys have Sony no Stings? track record now yeah. with this Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, and then the, I didn't like the comments from Sony saying, well, Kevin Feige's very busy with his other stuff. Yeah, it's that's like, a bitch, he's a fucking producer. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Do you, yeah. do you want me to read the statement? In Please. Okay. From? Sony. Yeah. So much of today's news about Spider-Man has mischaracterized recent discussions about Kevin Feige's involvement in the franchise. Mm-hmm. We are disappointed, but respect Disney's decision to not have him continue as a lead producer of our next live-action Spider-Man film. We hope this might change in the future, but understand that the many new responsibilities that Disney has given him, including all the newly added Marvel properties, <laughs> do not allow time for him to work on IP that they do not own. Kevin is terrific, and we are grateful for his help and guidance, and appreciate the path he has helped put us on, which we will continue. That's such a backhanded comment. Oh, yeah, I know. I, That's so, especially when they say he doesn't own it, and he's busy. He's had this whole slate of movies done for a while. He created the MCU. I'm yeah. sure he's got time to do it. Yeah. Everything's everything's a wheel right now. He does. He all he has to do is push it, which he already has. Sony doesn't have a leg to stand on a little bit on this. You can tell they're just holding on for dear life for this one character. Well, that's why I don't agree with you saying they have all the cards because Into the Spider Verse was a one off. That's the best thing they've put out. It's not a one off though. They're, they're milking it. No, no, they might try to milk it, but I'm saying it's one movie. Mm. We had one solid, one Let's, solid so far beloved movie. But then there's Venom to too, back, that and it was a like, cartoon. Yeah. See and. Okay, this is two speculations. Sorry, I not heard. cartoon animated. Is that Kevin Feige actually had some uncredited work on Venom when it first was kind of in its inception, where what direction to go, and he actually apparently gave some was insight. an uncredited producer. Yeah, he was in a, on Venom. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. But that, again, that means that could mean literally nothing. Yeah, but Steven Spielberg's a producer on like fifty percent of the movies that get out there, and all it takes is, is a phone call. Yeah, this is again for Sony though to try to say like oh we've done venom we're doing good we did into the spider verse we're doing good we don't need you guys but yeah. which doesn't uh, yeah, stick yeah it doesn't stick but honestly even even everyone in the mcu like jeremy renner's spoken out openly on social media and he, and he did it pretty nice respectfully it's like please give him back like let's make this happen well it, not, not please give him back because he well, was like, never marvels to begin with but it's like Let's keep this deal alive. Well, you guys are making money. Bring him off back of to the MCU because as of now, they've pulled him away. Well, and the thing is with Disney, Disney doesn't need Spider Man mm-hmm. because Disney's got so much on the go as True. a company. Because they keep saying Disney and Sony. Disney is a rocket hurtling at a thousand miles, mm-hmm. so a million miles an hour, and Sony is a snail moving. At the exact opposite pace. Sony doesn't have that much yeah. in comparison. Sony doesn't have Star Wars. I may shit on Star Wars, but it's only because there's just too much of it. Like they're yeah. just they're just slapping you in the face, right? Um, they've got all their remakes that they're doing, regardless of if you like them, they're making money. Mm-hmm. They've got Fox now, they've got control of Hulu, they're mm-hmm. doing their streaming service, which I'd hate the fact that you can't share passwords on Disney Plus. It's so BS. Wait, like it's like eight ninety nine or something, and you can't like if like so you know like on Netflix say, if one like another device, profiles. yeah, you can only have one password. You can't share passwords or profiles. So that's another thing shitty that Disney's gonna do. It's not another thing. That's Stick a shitty thing that Disney's gonna <laughs> Stick do. To online, yeah. Um, yeah. No, they'll come after you with lawyers, I, and they're coming after yeah. people with lawyers for shit, right? But yeah. I'm saying all of that included, they just have more of an army at this mm-hmm. point. It's like. I don't even know. Like I, I'm trying you, to find a good analogy. The thing to is, it. you're you're basically not you're not saying you're you're kind of undercutting Spider-Man in a way, but yet you're you're not because this is where I kind of agree with Anthony here mm-hmm. that 
yes, he's a, he, they've made him a prominent thing and they want to keep even just mentioning him in some way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. But with this deal not going forward, they can't even mention him. Well, they can't mention him, but or that's Spider-Man. not even the worst thing. Spider-Man can't mention them. Exactly. Spider-Man cannot mention the Tony Stark. He cannot have anything to do with his Stark suit. Yeah. None of the Stark tech. No do Nick Fury. You... We don't even know about Mysterio because, well, I think Mysterio is Sony. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that is now part of uh, yeah, I gotta wonder Tom the... Holland's Spider-Man yeah. that is no more. They, yeah. He has to actually revert back to just being a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man or an Andrew Garfield do Spider-Man. Do you think Tom Holland would refuse to play? No, I don't. He's contractually obligated. He had no choice right now. Yeah. He unfollowed them on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Cool move, Tom Holland. Yeah. That really will send a message. Um, yeah. But he's still doing Uncharted, so it's kind of like. But Uncharted lost as a director. Yeah, but like still. So we don't even know if that <laughs> movie's happening. The way I see it, though, is that all like you might say that oh the MCU can't mention Spider Man. He had a standalone movie. They don't need to mention him ever. But no, this Spider Man that we know, yes. Well, I haven't seen Spider-Man: Far From Home, so it doesn't matter. You, you've it. seen but Homecoming. That's what does enough. Black Panther have to do with Spider-Man? Why does he care? Why does Captain Marvel, who I hate, care? Why do the Guardians care? Why does Thor care about Spider-Man? Yeah. They barely even interacted, right? So Doctor Strange, maybe, but even then, doesn't need him. Mm-hmm. Spider-Man, know. however, will need to fight bigger and badder villains that the rest of the Avengers will fight. Mm-hmm. I love Spider-Man. I'm not going to say yeah, that. Yeah. I'm just saying that. How they've set up these universes, some are more important than others. Now, from what I understand, in Far From Home, I think so going good. They made him out to be the Stone Tony Stark. Yeah, going forward, they could easily do that with Black Panther. They can easily do that with a Doctor Strange, which mm-hmm. they kind of already showed. Like he's his opposite, goatees and mystic yeah. their magic versus tech. Captain Marvel, it'll never happen because n- I don't think anybody cares or even is behind mm-hmm. Captain Marvel at all. Um. There's so many other things that they can move forward. Thor could have his own thing, right? Yeah. That's why I don't I don't see them doing a converging movie, mm-hmm. and that's why I don't think it'll matter. I guess time will tell. Time Honestly, will tell. Honestly, I'm gonna call it right now. Disney's gonna go back. They're gonna like let Sony do whatever they. I was thinking honestly, realistically, they should have went to like 10 percent, like you said, and then like over time, you know, built up by five percent. But like mm-hmm, going yep. from what you do is you yeah. build it up. Like mm-hmm. you look at it at like a lease rate because that's essentially what it was. They were leasing out Spider Man. Yeah. And you say, okay, we've got a ten year lease and a ten year option. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that option is to go for another ten years. We'll go out of these ten years. The first seven at five percent. The last three at fifteen percent or ten percent or whatever. Yeah. Let's say ten percent. Then in our renewal to option, we're going to renegotiate the terms. We'll go eleven percent. And then let's say eleven percent, you bump it up to like nineteen, not quite twenty. Mm-hmm. But then you go to like twenty five, and so. It should have been a longer th- process. A tiered thing, yeah. Yeah. However, just like everything in the MCU, how much foresight was in what was going to happen is another story altogether. Yeah. Well, I think it's like, I've been watching a lot of Pawn, Star, Pawn Stars clips, so I kind of think of it like as Sony's doing like a negotiation tactic where, you know, if they give you that lowball price, you just kind of yeah. go like, okay, yeah. see you like I, I do. Just, <laughs> I, just think, <laughs> I just think that Sony is feeling themselves too much. Yeah. And the one thing that takes down anybody that we saw with Thanos is hubris or Thor hubris he should have gone for the head Mm -hmm. so I think that Sony is now a little too into themselves Mm -hmm. buying up Insomniac really putting too much emphasis in Venom 2 for a Venom 1 that yes made money which that's all they see but wasn't like oh we got to rush out to see the next one yeah uh I don't think Andy Serkis is the director that like that's going to really make it huge right Mm -hmm. how many people know about Carnage how many people know about some of the like Riot even? Like, there's so many things in the Spider Verse that people don't know. They know Spider Man. Mo- a lot of people well, I think don't Carnage even. Carnage is one of those like kind of like he's Listen, up there. He's up there. However, in mm-hmm. the tier of things, it starts with Spider Man. The majority of the people are like th- it's that percentage of the population who's familiar with the IPs, for instance, starts to dwindle. So if you start at Spider Man at eighty percent, Venom might be at seventy four percent. Carnage then might be at seventy percent. Then you take a dip a little bit. Spider Gwen might be at only thirty percent. Miles Morales might be at fifty percent. Those numbers matter very much, like they mentioned that twenty percent matters. So twenty percent of profit difference also matters, but a twenty percent in people who actually know the product means that you have less money to invest in your advertising to let people know about your product. Yeah. 
So that's what's going to make it. Uh, I think that's going to make it a little bit difficult going forward. I think it's going to work itself out. I hope so. I think yeah, honestly, I, like honestly, and and the thing is, while I'm like kind of recapping how I've laid out my arguments, I honestly don't know now which side I'm on because originally I was on Sony's side, mm-hmm. then I'm switched to Disney, so I haven't really picked the side, yeah. and I don't know if I am anymore on this one because I've been in that situation on a smaller scale. I've I, I, at least at least on the side of the creative person that I made this happen for to to become as good as it is, mm-hmm. but again, at the end of the day have no financial stake, who's taking all the risk? Sony doesn't doesn't have much financial stake in it. Marvel and Disney books, they do. Oh, I agree. But the thing is, it's still not theirs. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. The only Doesn't thing the is Sony they don't own it. The movie itself, though? Yes. They're giving... They, but this is where Marvel and Disney... Have, Disney is giving the financial plus the artistic... Yeah, elevation of the thing. Well, they are banking on the movies yeah. for sure. Yeah, but again, I mean, I'm I'm assuming that a lot of the money comes from Sony as well for yeah. advertising and everything. So it's not all going on Marvel. True. That I deal mean. is not Marvel sits back and waits for the check. It's no. Marvel invests and co-invests you mean into Sony? the ad. Sorry, Sony and Marvel yeah. collectively put in for advertising, for budget, for all of that. Mm-hmm. But again, so it's that's another argument that could be made. Disney's like, listen, we're going fifty fifty on this hundred and sixty million or three hundred and twenty million dollar budget. Yeah, and you're still taking way more than we are. Yeah, and we're still investing the same amount in this, so that's where I can see on D- Disney's side where it's like, like we actually are getting the shaft. There's a freaking bone here. Yeah. So, last thing I want to say: mm-hmm. if Sony pulls Spider-Man out, make Spider-Man four, all be forgiven. Mm, oh, that's all I care about. They might. Old Man Logan style Spider-Man four. <laughs> They'll just call it man. Oh wait, Spider Peter. Parker. P- no, the, Peter. It'll, it'll be this uh, Parker would it'll be, be the Spider Man like in the comics where he actually turns into a real spider. Oh Ooh. shit! Can you imagine that? A human be, spider. That'd be yeah. fucked. That'd that be so good. Nuts. That one always like I remember having a little figurine of it it's too. Creepy yeah. as fuck. Yeah, it's it amazing. Was weird. <laughs> that was an amazing comic too. It reminds that me scared of the uh, shit out of me. Of the flood from Halo. Mm-hmm. You know, this is the amoebas yeah. thing just on people's bottom, like, holy shit. Or the clickers from Dude, Last of Us. Dude, the clickers are disgusting. I love the clickers. I never Such played Last of Us. Such a great design. I, like, Were they, like, Predator? Very little about... Okay, so they had that click sound, <laughs> looking at, like, but they, they could only hear, so you had to be really quiet, and their, their heads were, like, split in two, and they're all bub- oh, boiled over. Disgusting bleh. slubs. <laughs> uh, I guess the very last thing, James Bond has a title, No Time to Die. Yeah. And Don't if it was all. a diehard... Sequel, which I I think it's more of a Die Hard title than a yeah, James be. Bond. It would be No Time to Die Hard, which I think would be a much better title for no a Die worries. Hard. But we don't need any more <laughs> Die Hard, um, so that's gonna happen. I like the title; it's pretty cool. I thought it's good. Have you ever been on the James Bond train? No. Riding on None the of James them? Bond no. train. That was like a song. That was like our childhood. Like they'd always play. Like they'd have mar- They still. I think they still do have marathons all so the time, too. like Christmas time or. Whatever. Every so often, they'll just go through the whole gauntlet of every James Bond movie. Yeah, I did see the first bit of Fast and Furious Eight, though. <laughs> it was I don't know, like honestly, like as stupid as it is, I kind of like enjoyed. It. I'm like this is kind of fun. Like, just, yeah, it's just stupid. Oh, that's, that's what they're what at they right are. now. It's just yeah. for fun. It's literally just. Do you like that uh, winning that. the race in reverse? <laughs> Vin Diesel fucking the owns fucking the whole thing. franchise. Oh yeah, which is like he makes so much. He money. makes a lot. I didn't realize he like, made a shit ton of money off Hobbs and Shaw. It's still part of his franchise and yep. stuff. That's true. Um, so why do they hate each other? Why does The Rock and Vin Diesel like have Because them? they're prima donnas, both Most of them. Of them yeah. Which they're also, both. congratulations to The Rock for getting married. I oh, guess. yeah. No, I was out of nowhere. Yeah. Good Actually, it was a, the hilarious meme is like, the, uh, he got married and, and his wife in their vows never said, you are my rock. And it's like, what did they, why did they even do it? <laughs> oh, <was> like, yeah. <laughs> what a missed opportunity. A hundred percent. But honestly, like, the only beef I understand is that The Rock thought Vin was, it was either I, over screen time or um, unprofessionalism from Vin Diesel, like you would show up late. Again, speculation beyond belief. But Everyone, that's and I don't, and I still don't know what Tyrese why, has anything to do with it. Because he he combated back when The Rock was the first one to shoot like sh- shots fired kind of thing on social media, and that's when he made it public. Which is why I'm that's not true. on on I'm on Team Vin. I don't care about The Rock in this situation. He's kind of a he shithead because he decided yeah. to make it public. I'm like, right there, you're a loser. You put it on social media just to air out your dirty laundry. I'm like, you're an idiot. And yeah. Tyrese has just been the most vocal about it going up because he's like, screw you, man. I'm going to call you out on your shit, too. You know what? This is this is may not play, but when you said that you think it's going to work out with the Spider-Man thing, 
I'm pretty sure like the whole fan base is going to go up in arms if Spider-Man's not in the MCU and they're going to like do some petition which won't work or outrage. They have. Well, they, they have. say like boycott PlayStation well, honestly, and Sony over, stuff. Like, boycott Sony. I've already like, pre-ordered know, Cyberpunk for the PlayStation. It's not going to happen. The funniest mm-hmm. thing though is Cyberpunk like, only PlayStation? Uh, I think so. People are saying though, like, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Disney just buy Sony. It's like, uh, no, like no, Sony's uh, very big. Like, they yeah, don't have I think that that's much the money. one. The they've mouse got can't like the PlayStation it. going on very well for them. It's not just like they've got the movies. You like, mean the got... mouse can't catch the hedgehog in this case? <laughs> well, I, mean, I guess Sony has hedgehogs. Well, is it really? Isn't that kind of like? Isn't he everywhere? Little slut, the hedgehog. <laughs> well, it's just because he's fast, and it's Sony. I don't know what else. Sony like, crash like, Bandicoot. <laughs> what what is else crash? crash? Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure that's theirs. But he's very good at at avoiding the potholes. So okay. Mm. Let's see how well Disney avoids the plot holes. Yeah, no kidding. Or potholes. Or plot holes in Spider Man. Or pitfalls. I don't have anything else. Anything else? Next thirty minutes, just spinning this web. Yes, a web of lies. Got nothing. All right, that's it. Um, it's another episode. Thank you so much for everyone. Have a good title name. Sticky situation. No, I already have a name for it. What is it? Web fluid. Blame game. Okay. It's not as punny. You like sticky situations? I don't know. It's just fun. It's stupid. Th- yeah, but some people that don't know might, it might seem a little Oh, okay. Off. A little uh, sexual. A little overtly. We already did talk about a, a casting couch. <laughs> and like, oh, is that title referring to him <laughs> going to a casting couch? <laughs> nope. Thank you so much for everybody who was uh, tuning in. That's it for another week. Uh, thanks so much. I, I've said that three times already. I'm going to try to figure out a way to fucking end this. Um, yeah. One of these days. One of these days. I'm gonna but it is not this outro. day. <laughs> Whether you're listening to us on Anchor, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, CastBox, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Podbean, Radio Public, YouTube, or you've gone onto the Sask Podcast Network website and found us there, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your support and listening to us because that's all we ask for, just that you listen. Uh, if you are enjoying the podcast and want to send it to a friend or share it around or you give us a rating on iTunes, I think that's a big one when people get ratings on there or anywhere else you're listening to. Uh, we would just really, really appreciate it. Uh, again, that's if you're enjoying it. If not, you can tell us why by emailing us at the F word podcast at gmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at the F words G and you can find me on Instagram at the F word podcast. And you can follow the lazy, the lazy Canadian on Instagram as well. That's my uh, spin off, the lazy Caribbean. The lazy, maybe not, not yet. Yeah. And then we also have our Facebook uh, there. You can go back and you can find our deep dive episodes if you're not into our live show for whatever reason. There's 11 out there now. The last one was Hollywood Trends. And um, yeah, that's all I got. Did that's I forget you. anything? No, I don't think so. Okay, thanks again for the SAS Podcast Network for letting us be in you and mm. connects us for funding that inning. Yeah, this is definitely not a sticky situation title. Web of lies. Web of lies. Uh, That's it. Gentlemen, I'm G. It's your boy, Big Memes. It's Vass. And we are out. What about Paul?